Alright guys, what's up? This is Dombey, Capital D3 Wise, and uh, yeah, this is my second video of the day. As you guys who have been following me for a little while may know, I am trying to do two videos a day leading up to Black Ops 2. If you're new to my channel, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, give me a chance, I'm just a smaller YouTuber, kind of doing my thing. So this is the final Modern Fed 3 gameplay you will be seeing on my channel. Um, I was going to video myself, kind of like jumping on it, do a funny little skip. Actually ran out of time. Had a, I've had a pretty busy day playing Payday the Heist because it's free on Steam. Don't make, don't let me fool you. I really have not had that much of a busy day. But that's what I was doing, and I did actually record some gameplay. Um, so if you guys would want to see that, do please uh, tell me in the comments. This is this is, and I will get to it. I'm not trying to just drag this one out, but this will be a Modern Warfare 3. My final thoughts. Someone asked um, for that two videos back, and uh, you know, so I thought, you know, I asked for topic ideas. You guys, you know, I'm trying to. Do what you guys want, you know, it's my channel, you know, if I don't fancy doing something, but at the end of the day, it's our channel. If you want something, if you want me to talk about something, just tell me in the comments, tweet at me, do whatever, I'll put my Twitter in the description, you know, and, and I'll, and, you know, I'll, I'll give you my opinion on it, that's, you know, that's what YouTube is, expressing your opinions on things and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I'd just like to thank you, because the, the video I uploaded earlier today was a Mono 2 gameplay, it could have just flopped, but it's got 43 likes, 43 43 of them motherfuckers. That's crazy. That's crazy. And um, so, yeah, I'll put a link to that in the description if you haven't seen that already. Because, to be honest, it was uploaded at a weird time for Americans. And I do have a you know, a small percentage of my subscribers that are Americans. So, you, you might have missed it. You might not have seen it. Go check it out. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. So, that's crazy. So, if you could give this video a like as well, I'd really appreciate it. But let's get on with the with the business end. Modern Warfare 3. My final review. Modern Warfare 3 is a game that I have played considerably. Not as much as I have other CODs. In other CODs, Black Ops, I've got 25 plus days. In Modern Warfare 3, I've got 8 or 9. I might have hit 10 days, I cannot remember. But it's about, it's less than a half the time I've got in Black Ops 2. But that's still a reasonable amount of time to make a good a good decision. I'm 6th Prestige. No, I'm, I'm either 6th or 7th Prestige. But a lot of times I stop Prestiging and then I finally got bored and then Prestiged. Okay. I'm a strong player. I have a 2.9 kill death ratio. I use assault and specialist. I've used support. I've sniped. I've done a variety of things. So I'm trying to give you a good opinion. And let me tell you, for me, a strong player who likes to get YouTube gameplays, who actually cares about doing well and cares about consistency, I'd give this game a 5. And I'll get into why in just a second. Now, if you're just a random person, like playing on the weekend, don't really care how well you do, just like playing with your friends, like playing a variety of game modes, like something that's fast paced. Like something that's exciting, I'd give this game a 7, and I'd say you'd, you would enjoy it. This game is a clusterfuck. Absolute clusterfuck. No matter what game age you play, you play TDM. If you go and play Black Ops, slow paced, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You control the game, and there's no herd. The game controls you, it makes you its bitch, and you just want to go fucking kill yourself. But, um, you know, the reason Infinity Ward do that, I don't hold it against Infinity Ward for doing that. They want to do that for the majority of the people who play their game. The majority of people who play their game are people who aren't YouTubers, aren't trying to get that really good kill streak, or aren't trying to get that really good gameplay. They're just playing, you know, they're just using these wacky kill streaks, just playing with their friends, and they want something that's exciting. So, in that case, you know, they didn't really cater for us. Now, you've heard all the people go on about lag compensation. And I have to say, it was awful, but the game feels a lot better now that I've come back to it, because I played yesterday, I haven't played it today, as I said, I probably won't be playing it anymore, but the game did feel a lot smoother, a lot better, but that's because I'm staying away from Ground War, and Ground War is really bad, and uh, yeah, I, on other games I don't mind playing games, game modes like Free For All, but on this I just can't do it, the spawns are just whack. Um, gun balance, gun balance, a lot of people moan about the gun balance in this game, I'm going to give the gun balance an 8 out of 10, an 8, and you know, you'll be like, how can you give the gun balance an 8? Because, let me tell you, when you go on YouTube and you type in PM9 double Moab and it pops up with a couple of gameplays, then you know your game's balanced because a lot of people consider that to be the worst gun. I personally think the LMG's the worst gun, but you can find you know plenty of Moabs with that as well. And you know, the LMG's are actually alright once you use Specialist Package. Now guns like the ACR, you know, while they are considerably better than the other guns, they're not as good as the Famous was in Black Ops. And I consider Famous, uh, Black Ops to have a 9 in gun balance, but um, it, in terms of, I don't know, it's 
Modern Warfare 3 gun balance. Well, in Black Ops, the gun balance was like this. You had the you had two really good guns. You had all the guns in the middle, and you had two really shit guns. In this, in Modern Warfare 3, you've got two or three really good guns, and then you've got all the other guns in the middle, and then like the LMGs underneath. The problem with uh, the actual balancing of the guns within the classes, so like all the SMGs are really well balanced, all the assault rifles against each other, against other assault rifles are really balanced, same with LMGs, same with snipers, um, same with shotguns, right? Some shotguns could be considered better than others, but you know, they, I'd say they're pretty well balanced against each other. The problem is, because the maps, the maps aren't exactly small, but because it's such a cluster fight, because the spawns are so close, it means SMGs are a little bit, a little bit good. They need to have made the SMGs a little bit worse, and that's why I'm not giving them a nine or a ten. That's why I'm giving them an eight. And oh, and uh, unfortunately, the gameplay has ended now. Has just reached the end. It was a forty to four on the map mission with the Scar uh, Scar L um, Preds Overwatch Payflow. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I may have to do another video discussing this um it probably wouldn't be mono it well it won't be mono for three gameplay though it'll probably be some black ops or mono for two gameplay whatever you guys want to see um yeah uh, pretty much they're my thoughts at the moment you know mono for three it weren't too bad it's just it had a few issues that just ruined it for everyone else and whereas in mono for two it was the players ruining it with the noob tubes it was actually the game's fault it wasn't the players fault I mean, you know, they put stuff like Dead Man's Hand in, but I can understand wanting to help people out. But anyway, I will get to that in another video. If you enjoyed this, please do leave me a like. Hitting 40 again would be ridiculous. And uh, yeah, see you later, guys. Bye.